I am Marlene of Marlene Motivates, and welcome to the Motivated Podcast, where I share inspiration, motivation, and mindset shifting. Welcome. Today on the Motivated Podcast, we're going to be speaking about become mentally peaceful. It's so important to achieve, attain, and maintain mental peace. And it's so important. And I'm going to talk to you about nine ways that we can become mentally peaceful. Point number one, to gain this mental peace, we must declutter junk in, junk out. If our environment is cluttered up or if our environment is not clean, we can't thrive in an atmosphere that is full of mess and junk. And that it does the same thing to our mind. So try your best to declutter not only will the clean environment help you to look at, but also it helps you because it will help you have better mental clarity. So let's declutter our space and experience mental peace. Point number two, when we talk about becoming mentally peaceful to gain peace, there's nothing like meditation. Now, meditation means to think deeply or carefully about something. So there may be some big things that are on our mind that we are trying to deal with and cope with. And it's so important to not let your mind become overwhelmed, to Think about it, but in a relaxed state, take some deep breaths. Don't get yourself worked up and stressed out. We want to maintain mental peace. And we do this by meditation, deep breathing, and just relaxing. Also to become mentally peaceful, we must want peace. We, we have to want that in our environment. Do you want peace? If you want peace, then your conditions will be just like that. See, if we want peace in our life, that means that we should be calm. Our disposition should be calm. We got to learn to slow down chill out. Stop getting so excited about everything. It's so important that we are going after peace. So it's something that we have to first of all want. Point number four, when we talk about becoming mentally peaceful, We have to possess peaceful qualities. We can't always talk about peace and we want peace and I don't have any mental peace, but it has to become a part of us. It has to be our attribute or our quality. So what is your personality? What qualities are you known by? Are you known to be a person who has the last word? Or are you one that you have to be right? Or are you one that you have to have control? Control of the situation, control of other people. See, there's some things that we have to release it. We have to let things go. We can't be a person that can control others. You'll make yourself miserable and it will never work out. 
We can't control other people. All we can do is work on ourselves and seek to become more peaceful with ourselves and possess that as our own personal quality. We want to be known as a person that is calm. Let things go. Let other people be right. You don't always have to be right. Sometimes to have peace, we have to just say, I'll, I'll let you have the final say. It doesn't take anything away from you. But we got to possess the peaceful qualities in order to become mentally peaceful. Okay. Point number five, uh, to become mentally peaceful, we have to let others be themselves. We always see, you know, everybody wants to be accepted for who they are. Everybody wants that. There's not one person out there that doesn't want to be accept, accepted for who they are. But do we allow other people to be themselves? See, a lot of times we, we want to be accepted for who we are, but are we doing the same for other people? Are you giving people the same respect that you would like? Let other people be themselves. Don't try to control them. Let other people have a different opinion, different values. It doesn't take away from you to let other people be themselves. That's how we gain mental peace. There's some things that we're not agree, we're not going to agree with. Yeah, there's some things that you're not going to like. There are going to be lots of things that may aggravate you, but that's them and it's their life. Let other people be themselves. Accept people for who they are, for where they are, and for what they can do. And that is so important. It's so important for letting people be who they are because that's the same thing that we would want. We wouldn't like if somebody made us feel that we were inferior, that we didn't like what they did. The same things that we want to get, we need to do for others. We don't want to be known as a person who always wants everything. We don't want to be known as a person who's selfish because others don't want to be around that. Other people don't want to be around that. You don't want to be around anybody who is selfish. So on the same accord, we also want to give people the same things that we personally want to receive. Point number six, this is, uh, I feel like this is the, the meat and the potatoes of this discussion. Um, to become mentally peaceful, I came up with this acronym, G-A-C. Now, what does that mean? To gain mental peace, first, we have to express gratitude, gratitude for our own life. Are you grateful for who you are? Are you grateful for where you are? Are you grateful for where you are going? Are you grateful for the things that you have, the, the things that you possess, the, the talents that you have, the talents that you have been given? Are you grateful for that? Are you grateful for the people that you have in your life right here and right now? It's so important that when we are grateful, we have peace because you're not seeking what another person has or what another person is doing. No, you're grateful for you. You're grateful for what you have and you're grateful for the people 
that you have. Now we're getting into the A. The A of becoming mentally peaceful is appreciation. We have to appreciate people who are in our life. We have to appreciate the ones that make sacrifices for, for the people who are important. Do you express that appreciation? Have you told somebody that you care about, your, your friends and your loved ones, I appreciate you. Thank you. Those two words can mean so much to another person. We, we take it for granted sometimes when we say, oh, they know how I feel. But have you expressed it? Have you communicated with people who are important to you? I appreciate you so much for being in my life. Thank you for who you are to me. Don't take anything for granted. And the C of this becoming mentally peaceful is contentment. We have to be content with where you are in your life. Every single person is on a personal journey. Everyone has gone through something or is currently going through something. But be content with where you are. We have to learn to be happy with where we are in our present. Where are you currently? Enjoy the moment. We always tend to think about the future and what is to come. But what about what you have right now? Right here, right now, my motivators, I want you to have contentment with where you presently are. And that will bring you mental peace because you're not thinking about what, what, you, what you should have, what other people have. No, you are content. You are satisfied. You are happy with what you presently have. And that will always bring you more mental peace. Let's get into point number seven. To become mentally peaceful, we have to be accountable. You must be accountable for your actions. We always hear all the time others speaking about how they should, you know, own up to what they do. But do you personally own up for what you do? What role do you play in things? Do you apologize? Do you say that you're sorry? We have to be accountable for what we do. You you have to own that. Own your mess. That's how we experience personal growth. That's how we mature. That's how we strengthen our relationships with other people, by being accountable. And when you're accountable, you gain peace because you're not trying to be anything other than you. I know that I'm human. I know that I make mistakes. And I know that I'm going to continue to try to improve. Every day we should be seeking to do our personal best, not the best from other people and what they expect from you, but what you personally can do. Take personal ownership and do the right thing. Point number eight into becoming mentally peaceful, to gain more mental peace, we have to forgive. And forgiveness is so hard. It's so hard to forgive other people because we look at other people and we see all of the flaws, everything that other people do wrong. But also we are human as well. We make mistakes. We do wrong and we hurt people as well. So for us to maintain mental peace, we have to just uh, remember that Others make mistakes just like we do. So 
try your best to forgive other people. Not being a, to a doormat to other people and letting people use you. No, but uh, forgiving people for when, when they don't do what we personally may like. Forgive people just like we want to be forgiven. And also forgive yourself. A lot of times we can be our own worst critic. We will beat up ourselves over and over again. Everybody, we're not perfect motivators. We make mistakes. We hurt other people. We hurt ourselves. We don't always do what we should do. We don't always say what we should do. We, 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 we fall short. We, we do the wrong thing sometimes, but we can't allow that to hold us hostage, to cause us to, to fear because I know that I, I, I can make mistakes. Just because you can make mistakes or you have made mistakes, you must forgive yourself for that or you're going to live in the past. And when you stay in the past, you stay stuck. It disrupts your peace. Now, all you do is think about it and think about it and think about it and think about what another person did to you. And I can't believe they did this to me. And I can't believe they hurt me. And if you stay in that, you're going to make your own self miserable and you will harm other relationships that you can have. You make mistakes, they make mistakes. Forgive people and forgive yourself and experience mental peace. Now here is the ninth and the last point. To become mentally peaceful, we, we have to have self-love. And it, it's not this exaggerated, this, you know, uh, um, a, a person who is very vain and, and thinks that they're better than everybody. No, I, I mean a balanced view. Have a balanced view of yourself. Know your worth. You, you're, you're worth being loved. You're worth being respected. You deserve to be respected. You deserve to love yourself and you deserve to be your own friend. Yes, my motivators, we all deserve to become mentally peaceful, but we have to put in the work. It's going to be hard. We have to forgive. We have to meditate. We have to relax. We have to make peace. We have to have peaceful qualities. We got to let things go. We have to forgive and we must love ourself. Let's become mentally peaceful motivators and experience lower blood pressure, restful sleep at night, and the ability to do things, to accomplish tasks, to not procrastinate, to not be worried about things that we can't control. I am Marlene and I am the content creator of Marlene motivates and you have just tuned in to the motivated podcast i thank you so much for tuning in today make sure to leave a comment in the comment section below and may you become mentally peaceful and like i always say every single video story time and live stream just know it just breathe it and be it and live your best life. Be encouraged, be inspired, be yourself, you will survive. Just know it, just breathe it, and be it, and live your best life.
forgive me I love me I've been blessed that I have made it through I'm stronger and worthy I am enough now what about you I forgive me I love me I've been blessed that I have made it through I'm stronger and worthy I am enough now what about you